It's on Instagram. Uh, no, right, I mean, I they've got talked you. about it. Um, yeah, so it was just uh, coming here uh, late nights for 8 o'clock. Nine o'clock at night, just trying to get extra work. Knowing that he didn't have the reps at receiver, you know what I'm saying so that's a big deal. The quarterback receiver, um, you know that chemistry you have with uh, one another. So with that, you know we had to get it in somehow, and we didn't want to, you know, just come out and camp and be like, hey, well, now let's work on it. So that wasn't a part of it. So that was all it was, just trying to make sure we get those reps in order that we could be successful. When it comes game time. How has he embraced that role? I mean, you talked about him performing on the field, but yeah. from an off the field standpoint, he's got this return of the real documentary he's mm -hmm. working on, and he seems to really embraced it. Is the outside perception what you guys sense inside? Um, I mean, I feel like he's uh, just taking it one day at a time, uh, knowing where his shoulder's at and coming off two shoulder surgeries. Uh, and I mean, it's, I think sometimes people think that's hard to understand. You know what I'm saying? Why wouldn't Braxton put a quarterback in this and that? But you also got to know well, you, what do what's best for your body. And I feel like, um, you know, playing receiver, if he feels like that was the best thing at the time, then I mean, absolutely, go ahead. But nobody forced him. He came up and he brought it to Coach Martin and myself, and he was like, well, this one, I'm going to try to see if this is going to work because at the end of the day, he doesn't want to go out there and play quarterback and, you know, tear it again and, you know, not being able to play at all. So that's something that um, I think he took a lot of time thinking about, and, um, you know, he went from there and made a decision. What were your impressions of him today? Uh, fast, yes. fast, you know. Uh, I didn't really get, you know, I have other reads. So I, when I saw him, when I, was throwing, when I was throwing in the ball, it seemed like he was uh, – more open than other guys, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> so, uh, except for there's one time we got Vaughn on a post. Uh, you know, Vaughn's a very good cover guy. So, but there's other times in the boundary, he got one of our young guys on a corner route, and the corner route was like five yards away. So, How were his hands? Uh, I feel like it was, uh, I don't know, it was okay. It wasn't crazy good, but um, I think that's get better with time. And, you know, his helmet shaking around, you know what I'm saying? It's just part of it. So, you just need to get reps at that. What do you expect from Braxton this year? In terms of numbers or anything like that? Uh, I don't, I really don't know about as far as numbers. I just feel like um, he's one of our playmakers on the team. So with that, we try to. I'm gonna do my best. If I'm playing quarterback, get him the ball. Just get out of my hands, and give it to him. You go do the run around and juking and all that stuff. And uh, I feel like that's always my approach. Just get my, get the ball out of my hands, give it to the playmakers, and let them do what they came here to do. And so with that, Braxton came here to make a lot of plays and you know, do a lot of cool stuff that I can't do. So make sure he go do that. You know, do my best getting about it so he can go do what he does.